Hey, what's up mga ka heads and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ateneo bench players that help them to be the champions. These are the bench players of the Ateneo Lady Eagles that really help them to be the champions, especially season 76, 77, and 81. But before that, mga ka heads please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated on my upcoming videos. At number 1, Pauline Marie Monique Gaston. She was one of the main vital cogs as she had became the main outside hitter in Season 81 to help Ateneo to reclaim their crown. Despite being benched or converted into other positions such as Libero, she was the team best third scorer in the Season 81. She finally had her original position back when she was a middle blocker in Season 82. Initially, we can expect her to do more as she was a former multiple best blocker awardee during her time with USD. At number 2, Maria Dina Isabella Wong. Originally, she was gloomed to be a backup libero of Giselle Tad in Season 79 because of her good floor defense skills. But when Gia Morado decided to forego her last playing year in Season 80, Coach Tai decided to convert and trust Dina Wong to do the setting duties. She may not have a good start in that season as the main setter of Ateneo Lady Eagles, but with her determination, hard work, and passion, she adjusted and trusted the system of Coach Tai and eventually winning the Best Setter Award in Season 80. She became one of the main vital cogs of winning the championship in Season 81. At number 3, Jorella Marie de Jesus. She was known as the elevator because of her lifting ability. Despite being undersized, she always had been fighting and playing with her passion and determination. She was under the shadow of Phil Inglet Cayetano in her first three seasons. She also was one of the main players in the back-to-back -back championship of Ateneo Lady Eagles in season 76 and 77. She was supporting Eliza Valdez by her superb floor defense in the back row along with Denton Lazaro and Michelle Morente. Sure serve from Soriano, Gretchen Ho. Great dig over on the second touch by Kinlog. Jesus. Off speed. Guevara plays setter. Zapanta. Oh, kept alive by Carvacho. Zapanta with such an angle. What defense by both teams. And the effort applauded oh. by the crowd here. And finally, Ateneo puts a stop to it. At number four, Amy Ahomiro. At first, she was not so lethal as a lefty opposite spiker since Gorayeb was coaching the Ateneo Lady Eagles. With the training and system of Coach Tai, she suddenly had shown vastly improvement in Season 76. She played as a main opposite hitter from the first round to the middle season of the UAAP. She had helped out Eliza Valdez in scoring but sudden surprise plan for Coach Tai by putting her in the middle position since Ana Gupico had got injured. The plan and surprise was worth it and successful because Amy had become more lethal and helping the team to win a back-to-back -back championship. She also had won the finals MVP in Season 77. At number 5, Michelle Kathleen Morente. She had great success as an opposite hitter with Ateneo Lady Eagles, winning back-to-back -back UAAP championships in Season 76 and 77. She was considered as a spark plug on these seasons, which were Ateneo's first two women's volleyball championship batch. She may not be consistent on her offense, but she packed her floor defense skills into libero-like big time around to help Ateneo in winning the first and second championship. At number 6, Madeline Irenea Madayag. Being overshadowed by Bea de Leon in their rookie season, 
she elevated her level of play to get into the starting six and had three tall blockers frontline in the season 78. Before having an ACL in the middle of season 78, Maddie was also a top candidate of best server during that time. In UAAP season 81, she was one of the main vital cogs of Ateneus Championship. She was one of the main scorers of Ateneo behind Catalan Eno in that season and she had won a Best Middle Blocker award. She had set a new record of high number of blocks in the UAAP against the USD in their second round meeting which was 11 blocks. These bench players had shown us why are the bench players are having their own shining times and important roles in the team to win multiple championships. So there you have it, Maccabee Heads. Thank you for supporting this channel and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest updates on my post. See you! Bye-bye!